Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. I'm so happy to meet you again. Uh, I need to announce for this very important event, offline recorded e-learning lung and diaphragm ultrasound. Objective of this course will be for juniors to know how to do lung and diaphragm ultrasound from A to Z from adjustment of the machine, taking your position to do the imaging, select the probe, know the area you need to examine, and in very clear and simple way, you will see me doing real ultrasound scanning, different type of lung and diaphragm ultrasound scanning on volunteer by my machine, in nine practical sessions to know how to do it in very simple way and to know how to apply the probe and what is the image you will see in the screen with uh, application of uh, the probe. Number two, for junior and for senior to know how to diagnose various diseases by lung and diaphragm ultrasound, diaphragm ultrasound. You will see very important lecture in this regard. So, first practical session on volunteers. This will be nine practical session on a volunteer to know exactly how to do lung ultrasound from A to Z. I will do it by my machine on volunteer in very clear way. You will learn how to localize all 12 areas of the lung, how to visualize a line, sliding, seashore by m mode, how to examine the lung by phase array, curvilinear, and the high frequency probe, and what's the difference between the image by using this different probe. Uh, this will be the example of the practical session on a volunteer. So this is the upper part, this is the lower part. So, what you are seeing now, you are seeing now the skin, which is hyperchoic and subcutaneous tissue, and fascia, and the muscle of the chest. And after the muscle, you will see, here is the rib, and this is the rib, and rib shadow. Here is the rib and rib shadow. And this is the pleura, and this is another rib and rib shadow. It's very important here as regard the pleura. As you see here, there is a lot of lines, transverse lines here, 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 here. So why I choose that this is the pleura? Because the pleura, the pleural side is underneath the rib. So as you see here, this is the rib and the pleura is underneath the rib. And this is very important why we are localizing the pleura in the longitudinal plane to be sure that this line is the pleura because uh, some uh, in some patient will be difficult to localize because it's a very bad image but this you need to keep in your mind you are searching for the pleura underneath the rib as you will see you will see me in very simple and clear way putting the probe where is i will put the probe to examine for different diseases of the lung and you will see the end result, the product of, of good application of uh, lung ultrasound on the screen. You will see very clear image and you will know how to uh, search for everything in uh, lung ultrasound. Okay, as you see in this practical session, this would be my practical session like that in all parameters of the lung and you will see simulators of the barcode signs and simulators of uh, uh, loss of sliding uh, by a very tricky maneuver will do it, okay? And uh, on the volunteer also, you will see how to diagnose B lines on volunteer and how to search for, it, okay? This is a practical session, uh, section of the course. So this is the... You will learn uh, how to do full diaphragmatic, diaphragmatic examination, both left and right diaphragm. 
by visual assessment, excursion by M mode, and sickness measurement by high frequency probe. I will teach you a unique method to examine the left diaphragm by M mode and to measure the proper excursion by avoiding the bowel gases. It's very important. You will see in very clear way how to apply the probe to assess for the pragmatic excursion. And this is very important for the people working at ICU because really the pragmatic weakness is a very important cause of difficult weaning and very common in ICU setting. Uh, you will see how to measure the right diaphragm and also the left diaphragm. How I will teach you very uh, unique methods and you will see it very clearly on volunteer how to really examine the left diaphragm by M mode, how to know the excursion of left diaphragm by M mode in very clear way. And this way, and this way will give me this picture. This is my probe, this is the lever, and above the lever will be the diaphragm. The diaphragm, like Blura, is very good reflector and will appear very bright. Uh, and I can just visually assess the movement by Asking uh, deep breath, please. Deep breath. Deep breath. This is the movement. I can just look for the movement. And I can exactly uh, determine the movement by putting the M mode vertical to the diaphragm. As you see, you will see where you will put the probe in the proper place to get the proper image and also how to adjust the machine, how to put the focus at the level of the diaphragm to get the very clear pictures, okay? For the junior and the senior, you will see in this offline recorded course, you will see eight well-designed evidence-based lectures to demonstrate in a very simple and clear way all the clinical applications of lung ultrasound, rule in pleural effusion, pneumothorax, pneumonia, acute pulmonary edema, and how to differentiate between cardiogenic and non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema by lung ultrasound only. You will uh, hear about pulmonary fibrosis, and you will hear about the FRAG in ICU, and the integrative cardiopulmonary protocol to diagnose almost all causes of acute respiratory failure, a step-by-step -step approach, as well as a step-by-step -step protocol to manage all causes of hypoxia in critically ill COVID patients. In this course, in these lectures, you will first know in very simple way the physical basic principles behind the A-line and the B-line and all the different uh, lung ultrasound signs, but also you will see a very large number of real cases to demonstrate the clear uh, and the very important role of uh, lung ultrasound in ICU setting. You will see really a lot of cases, and you will see a step-by-step -step approach, not only and lung approach, but you will see an integrative approach, cardiopulmonary, to diagnose almost all causes of acute respiratory failure. And these for senior people will be very important because you will see a very large number of real cases uh, for diagnosis of acute respiratory failure. Uh, and uh, you will see the evidence based, uh, which is great behind this integrative approach. Uh, I will give you an example of these lectures. Let us see a sample of the uh, lectures, ultrasound course lectures, uh, to know what's going on. Diagnosis of pleural effusion is how to know the cause of pleural effusion by lung ultrasound. Number one, first look for consolidation, look for pneumonia. You see, this is the, all this consolidation with air bronchogram, you see here, moving air bronchogram up and down, moving air bronchogram, going with pneumonia, you will see this pleural fusion, this cinnamonic fusion, this cinnamonic fusion, this cinnamonic fusion, and here also there is consolidation, there is consolidation, there is consolidation, 
and you can see fusion all around, cinnamonic fusion all around, and this is really one of the common causes of the pleural fusion and you need to search for. What else you need to know to know the cause of pleural fusion? I advise you strong. So this course will be very important for the junior. You will know in very simple way how to diagnose pleural fusion, where to look for to diagnose pleural fusion, both practically on volunteer and uh, a lot of cases demonstrating that. Moreover, for senior people, you will see, you will, you will take step up how to search for the cause of pleural effusion. It's not only to diagnose pleural effusion and know is it transudative or exudative because this may be at a junior level. But for senior level, you, you, you will know how to go beyond that and diagnose the cause of pleural effusion as you will see in this demonstration. Finally, to please look below the diaphragm. You will see almost all the cause of pleural effusion by looking below the diaphragm. You see if this patient, if you see this patient with markedly dilated inferior villa cava, you need to think about congestion as a right side pleural effusion and you need to search for cardiac cause if you see the, this dilated, markedly dilated inferior vena cava and in our patient we saw heart failure and aortic regurg and pulmonary edema in this patient with heart failure and as a cause of right side pleural effusion. In this patient we saw sub diaphragmatic collection and this pleural effusion was a reaction with the atelectasis here consolidation as a reaction to this inflammatory process. Really, it will be very large number of real cases and uh, also fusion for uh, the senior. You will see a step-by-step -step approach to diagnose all cause of acute respiratory failure by integrative cardiopulmonary approach. And after you learn this very important protocol, step-by-step -step protocol, you will see a lot of real cases to uh, confirm this value of the protocol, and you will see the evidence behind this protocol. Look for these real cases. Okay, let us see real cases. This patient, uh, the, you saw at the beginning of the protocol, with narrow uh, uh, collapsing pure vena cava, but we find the pleura is dirty, with very bad sliding and uh, subpleural consolidation and the mad heart, hyperkinetic heart of uh, severe uh, viral pneumonia in this patient, and pleural, uh, and as you see here, subpleural consolidation with pulmonary edema denoting in ARDS. So this is the complete picture of integrative approach. You can start by inferior vena cava and end up by this mad heart and signs of typical signs of ARDS. And in this situation, you will be sure that you are in the right tract because you will collect a data from different area and really you will use point of care ultrasound to help you a lot in uh, the diagnosis and you'll increase the power of your diagnosis. Okay, uh, this course really will fit both junior and senior. Junior, he will know how to do it immediately after watching the course because he will see on volunteer all the practical point he need to know and for senior and for junior also he will know the basic of uh, physical principle of lung ultrasound and he will see the basic image of pneumonia and the pleural effusion and pneumothorax pulmonary edema he will see the basic things and for senior he will know the integrative approach to go a step up by looking for the cause of pleural effusion, by looking for the integrative cardiopulmonary approach to diagnose all cause of acute respiratory uh, failure. Uh, and for anyone needs this recording, I can send it to his email uh, as a private video because these uh, these are a private list in my YouTube channels, and 
please just you contact this number WhatsApp or this email, and I myself I will answer uh, you. Uh, and see you all in uh, a recent uh, project. Bye-bye. Thank you.